Meraki currently offers two types of licensing models, a new per device licensing model and a co-termination licensing model. There are important differences between them to consider when deciding which is best for you. In this video, we will be comparing the benefits of both options to give you a better understanding of what each has to offer. The Cisco Meraki co-termination licensing model is best for organizations which prefer a simpler approach with a single expiration date for all of their Meraki devices, regardless of when they were purchased. It uses a weighted average to calculate this date, which is recalculated whenever you claim additional licenses. For example, if you claim a one-year access point license to a new dashboard, and then immediately claim a three-year access point license, both licenses would blend together, resulting in an expiration date of approximately two years from the date that they were both claimed. Licenses with a higher cost, such as the MX series, will carry a higher weight and typically have a greater impact than access point or switch licenses. By default, Meraki customers are automatically enrolled in this licensing model. You can opt to switch out of it if you would like, but you cannot reverse this decision once made. The Cisco Meraki per device licensing model allows customers to license each device individually. This is often a good option for businesses which need or prefer to manage license on a more granular basis, such as when IT budgets are segmented across multiple cost centers in your organization. There are some other benefits to this licensing model, such as partial renewals, a 90-day license activation window, and individual device expiration shutdowns.